Hi guys, it's Brianna and this is my third time filming this video. I'm sorry if I don't seem energetic, but my back hurts really bad. But I just wanted to show you guys um, some of the products that I've been loving for this month. And um, I'm kind of just going to jump into it. So first, I've been loving these glasses. I don't know if I've talked about them yet, but they're from Warby Parker. Um, it's warbyparker.com. I'll have a link below or like the name or whatever I don't know if you'll be able to click on it because I don't know if I have figured that out correctly yet but um yeah it donates some of the money to or like yeah it, every pair of glasses that you buy they donate it to um a child or a person in need somewhere else who needs glasses and um I just really like that so that is why I'm supporting them and um yeah I just really like the glasses as well so that's my first favorite. Um, my next favorite is this bracelet. It is from Aldo. I really like the chain, um, but it's not too gaudy or too fake looking. I just, um, I don't know, I just really like it. So first I didn't like either one of these products. This one is too light, but it is yellow, so it helps to cancel out my under eye circle, so I put this on first. And then I come in with this Rimmel Match Perfection Skin, Skin Tone Adapting Concealer in 335. At first it was adapting to the color of my dark under eye circles, which is what I didn't like. And now it is adapting to the slightly lighter color. Um, I really like this. It's supposed to conceal signs of fat fatigue and highlight and illuminate eye area. So I really like this. It's in 335 light medium and it works really, really well for blemishes, but it also works well for eye concealer. I haven't found an under eye concealer that works amazingly well, that doesn't crease, doesn't fade away, but this is getting closer to what I'm looking for. I have for. this Bare Minerals Purifying Facial Cleanser. At first I thought this was breaking me out a while ago, so I stopped trying it. Then after I gave it to my grandma, I saw it because because I didn't have any more cleanser and I started using this again and I loved it. My skin felt soft, clean, and refreshed but not like it stripped all of the oils off of my face um, which produces more oil if you have oily skin so I really like this. It um, goes really well with my Clarisonic and I think it's $18 if you buy the um, I don't know if you buy the whole container. This was a sample with my Clarisonic. I don't know if it's bigger than this or if it's this size but I really like this product. I really like this um, this pen, this, what is this called? Brush from Forever 21. Um, it's a powder brush. It's really, really, really soft. And it's a little dirty because I used it today. And, um, yeah, I like to use it for powder on my face. And, um, yeah, just setting concealer, blending things out. It's just an amazing brush. And it was like $2. So I like this better than the more expensive brushes that I have um, tried out. So definitely... Don't sleep on forever between this pure clay mask. Um, it purifies and soothes from Freeman. And I only put on a thin layer because, like, I feel like masks take a while to come off. But once you take it off, um, your skin definitely feels very soft and soothed. If you've had, like, a particularly rough day, I would recommend using this to kind of, like, mellow you out. And these stress mints, they're organic. And I think they're, like, $5 for 30 which is kind of a lot. But um, it's definitely worth it. Um, I've only, I haven't used it that long, but I don't know. I just kind of like using it. It feels better. Or maybe it's just you think it's supposed to make you feel better, so you actually feel better. Either way, it's worth a try. So, yeah, these are the homeopathic stress mints. Little purple pens from Pilot. I'm a, lot, I'm a grad student, so obviously I'm going to like some kind of school supply. And I just really like how these write. They're thick. It doesn't bleed or anything. And it's just easy to read when you read back over your notes. So um, it's just a very useful pen. I love purple. I only want to write in purple. So yes, yeah. crystal body deodorant roll-on. It doesn't have aluminum chlorohydrate and it is paraben free and fragrance free and hypoallergenic. I think this is probably the best healthy deodorant that I've found. It works better than the La Vanilla. It works better than the Milk of Magnesia. Like it works better than those two alone or together. So I'm going to try to use this with um, the La Vanilla to see if it like has a difference. And if not, I'm just going to continue to use this by itself because it's $4. Next, um, something that I don't like is this Bobbi Brown corrector that I used to be in love with but it um just kind of sits on top of my skin it doesn't really blend in um once I started trying other concealers I realized that this wasn't necessarily something that I liked so um even though I hit pan and used to love it I, I just don't like it anymore but yeah that's really disappointing because I did I thought I really liked this I thought I'd found the concealer that I wanted um but 
didn't I like have it. this Wush shower jelly. I'm not going to talk about it. I have a review that I will link below. Um, but yeah, it smells really good and I like it. But if I find something better, I will keep Just it. Um, is the acne cleansing brush. And I like this brush the best because it's really soft on your skin. I don't know if it helps with acne or if it does anything different than any of the other ones. But it's the softest in my opinion. This granola cereal is probably my favorite concealer. Concealer cereal of all time um it's very healthy i don't think it has wheat but it may contain wheat so that's good for my gluten allergy um so yeah i really like this even though it's six dollars i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video i'll talk to you guys later bye